Hello and greetings to everyone that is associated with CCDA. My name is Kevin Bernard Burns. I'm currently on Tennessee's death row, where I've been in prison since November 29th of 1995. I was called by God to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and ordained by Pastor Kevin Riggs of Franklin Community Church on January 29th of 2018. And also now am the pastor of Church of Life here on death row. I've also had the unique honor and privilege to have prayed the prayers the last two years for Locked in Solidarity. So now I want to thank all in the association for the opportunity to share in this devotional. So one challenging, one challenge that I'm particularly experiencing now is convincing some of those that I love to get vaccinated. I never thought I'd be advocating for vaccines, but this is where I am. I've grieved the losses of one of my younger brothers and two of my first cousins who passed away within 10 days of one another back in April. The condition and reality of COVID, COVID is now is stable now uh, here in the prison. Uh, but there are still a few officers uh, that work here who have not been vaccinated. So that's a concern for them. What gives me life, both now and always, is the word of God, the hope and the trust that I have in him. The scriptures that I'm clinging to is Matthew 28, and verses 19 and 20, where Jesus said, Go ye therefore... And teach all nations, baptizing them. And verse 20 saying, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And in particular, he, where he said, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And to this I say, amen. Uh, this promise and these scriptures have sustained me. And have had and had had he not been with me, I would not have had made it thus far. You know, during this time in prison. Before the pandemic, I was praying for revival here on Death Row. So now reimagining, I'm trying to see what that would look like now. First thing, we must have all of our volunteers able to come back in. So please, I ask you, pray with me for this. And last but not least, the support I need from you all is your prayers together with me that the Lord will bring to pass his promise of delivering me from this prison. I thank you so much, and God bless you all. Amen. So, Father, I pray for all those that are of the Christian Community Development Association. I lift them up to you, O oh God, and I pray that you will breathe afresh upon them and give life to all their endeavors, that they may be both effective and successful in all that they have determined to do. I bless you, I honor you, and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen.